Hello everyone, it's great to see you again. Today I'll introduce one of our latest products, the MC331 Hybrid Tube Amplifier. This all-in-one designed amplifier incorporates multiple features, is versatile in application, and offers user-friendly convenience. Let's delve deeper together. Let's begin by examining the materials, craftsmanship, and basic features of the MC331. The MC331 chassis is crafted from solid aluminum using CNC integrated molding technology, finished with 180 grit sandblasting, and anodized to achieve a classic black look. This not only adds elegance but also ensures durability. Both the body and front panel feature chamfered edges, enhancing the tactile and visual quality. Let's check the front panel, where we can find a circular retro VU meter, an infrared receiver, input mode indicator lights, a 3.5mm headphone jack, bass and treble control knobs, and the master volume knob. The pointer of the VU meter dances to the rhythm of the music, providing real-time signal strength feedback to help prevent distortion. The MC331 also comes with a remote control for convenience. The input mode indicator lights display the current mode and have a memory function to restore previous settings upon power-up. The MC331 functions both as an amplifier and a headphone amp, supporting headphones from 32 to 300 ohms, ideal for users with both speaker and headphone needs. The central detente bass and treble gain controls allow you to customize your sound, returning to the original sound color when set to the midpoint. The volume knob is designed for infinite rotation and integrates power on and off and mode switching functions. A short press switches modes, while a long press turns the device on or off, simplifying the user interaction. Moving to the rear panel, the MC331's inputs and outputs are arranged in two rows. The top row includes input interfaces supporting USB, Bluetooth, optical, coaxial, and RCA inputs, allowing for the connection of multiple cables and switching between input modes without the hassle of frequent plugging and unplugging, thus extending the life of the equipment and cables. The bottom row contains output interfaces, with side-by-side -side passive speaker terminals facilitating the connection of spade connectors and bare wires. There is also a 3.5 mm pre-out for connecting an active subwoofer or active speakers, offering flexibility in audio system upgrades. Please note that the MC331's headphone and passive speaker outputs cannot operate simultaneously. If both headphones and speakers are connected, headphones take priority. Finally, let's discuss the tubes. The MC331 comes equipped with a pair of 5654W tubes, but supports alternatives like 6K4, 6J1, 6A2, 6J4, and 6AK5 catering to personal taste. Additionally, a pair of protective covers is provided to safeguard the tubes and prevent accidental burns. Users can also opt to replace these with the decorative rings used in the P3 model. Now, let's delve into the core technical specifications of the MC331. Starting with its output capabilities, when paired with speakers, the MC331 can deliver up to 105 watts per channel at a 4-ohm load, effortlessly driving desktop and bookshelf speakers. For headphones, it provides up to 30 milliwatts at 32 ohms. In a word, the MC331 is compatible with most home audio systems. Regarding dynamic range and SNR, both stand at an impressive 100 dB, ensuring clarity and realism in the audio output. The distortion rate is less than 0.03%, which guarantees the purity and transparency of the audio output, allowing you to fully enjoy high-quality music. Finally, in terms of Bluetooth connectivity, the MC331 employs version 5.0 and supports SBC and AAC codecs, ensuring stable and high-quality wireless audio transmission. Next, let's move on to the demonstrations of the MC331. First, let's demonstrate the desktop headphone listening scenario with the MC331. You'll need an audio source, the MC331, and your headphones. Begin by connecting the mobile phone to the MC331 using a USB cable. Then plug the headphones into the headphone output. 
Connect the power and long press the main knob to turn on the unit, allowing the tubes to warm up for about 15 seconds. Next, short press the main knob to set the input mode to USB, start with the volume at its lowest setting, and begin playing music. Gradually adjust the volume to a comfortable level. We can also tailor the bass and treble gains to your personal preference. Next, let's look at the MC331's application in a 2.1 audio system. Prepare the following equipment. An audio source, the MC331, passive speakers, an active subwoofer, and the appropriate cables. Use speaker cables to connect the MC331 to the passive speakers. And then use a 3.5 mm 2RCA cable to connect the subwoofer to the MC331's pre-out port. Connect your audio source to the MC331 using another 3.5 mm 2RCA cable. Finally, power up the MC331 and the subwoofer and turn them on. The 2.1 audio system is now set up. Let's give it a listen. That concludes our overview of the MC331 integrated amplifier. Thank you for watching. If you have any thoughts or feedback, please feel free to contact us. See you next time.